Uh, hey you guys! I am player one. I'm player two. Yay! I don't and have a beard anymore. That's, um, start this video out on a really shitty note because of that, you look like a baby. We have every light on in this car because right now it is 9.06. And what are we going to do, player two? We're going to see a movie. Yay! We're going to see uh, Sinister 2 and hopefully not cry or laugh really loud and get kicked out. I don't know. It's like Thursday, so I don't think anyone's going to be there. It's Sinister 2. No <laughs> one's going to be there. <laughs> and it's Thursday? This one is going back to college. Yeah, I'm going to be going back to college, so we're not going to have like any Let's Play content, aside from me trying to independently post things, which probably won't start till maybe Monday, depending on how I feel. Because uh, I still don't know how I'm going to upload shit without sitting in a library or a classroom. And <laughs> Horror adventure. Anyway, we're going to go see Sinners 2. First, we're going to get candy somewhere else because fuck movie candy. It's expensive as shit. And there's like half of the amount in the box. True. Dicks. And then we're going to um, watch a movie and hopefully not disturb anyone. There's probably going to be like one person there. We're going to see you guys after the movie. We're going to give you a review. I'm biased, apparently. Yeah, she looked up a review beforehand. Doesn't count. I didn't mean to. I was. I, I'm like nervous because I'm like this movie is not gonna be playing, even though Regal says it is. And I'm like looked it up and I was like, here's all your reviews. I hope it doesn't suck as much as it's <laughs> it's gonna suck. <laughs> anyway, we we'll see you guys after. Play us out, player two. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, we're back. We just got out of the movie theater. Fun story, I have to bring this up. The guy's like, I have to check your bag for like security reasons, and I fucking panicked. So I'm like, I'm not gonna leave this camera in my car. And Ellie was like, oh shit, I'm not doing anything illegal. I fucking swear I'm a YouTuber. Please help. And like, he didn't see anything. But I was like trying to be really cool. I was like, yeah, I just have like candy in there. and like You could have smuggled the AK-47 past that guy, let's be real. Yeah, yeah, I don't really he barely care. skimmed my bag. And I had like several things I think, that could have covered think up we, firearms. Yeah, I think we made him slightly, like, like, I don't know, slightly, because we were like, yeah, you're like, I have my diabetic stuff in here, and he's kind of like, oh, I'm an ass. Like, <laughs> like even though it was like his job, I You know like I did that on like, purpose, right? Because I wanted him to make him feel uncomfortable. Because <laughs> it is uncomfortable. Because I knew you had a camera in there. Player 2, remember Sinister 1? I apparently have seen it. <laughs> like, I barely remember anything of it, to be honest. I don't know how long ago it was. One thing I just want to touch on real quick, because this is Bob. The moment the movie ended, I was like, this is a thriller. This is not what I expected it to be. And I was like, okay, well, I need to make sure, like, my definition of thriller is right. So I looked up the definition. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but, like, I did look it up. And it pretty much says th uh, thrillers heavily simulate the viewer's moods, giving them a high level of anticipation, ultra heightened expectation, uncertainty, surprise, anxiety, and terror. And I don't really think this movie was scary. I think there was like four cheap jump scares. I mean, they scared me. I jumped. I mean, hell. But like, they were kind of just like not even important. I mean, the way that the <laughs> families were murdered in the movie is gruesome, and that is the shock factor of the movie. That is the horror aspect. But if like you've been part. through the mill, if you've been through the mill of, like, horror movies and horror... Like, you're not going to get shocked here. The, I think the most shocking one might have been the rats in the pot. Because you didn't know why there was a rat in that cup in the movie. Oh my and god. And that was probably I, like, the most intense sorry. one. Oh god. I was gonna throw up. Alright, are we gonna do our review of this movie? Are we just gonna are we um, gonna debate what it is? We don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> um, you know I think it's more of a thriller than a horror yeah, movie for sure, but I think that's because that. we have we have better standards because we've been through the mill before. The mill. Alright. So what is Sinister Two? Sinister Two is a is an immediate Sister sequel two. to the first movie where the friend of the guy who died in the first movie is investigating these scenes and is trying to, you know, basically solve the problem. I'm not going to spoil too much, but you learn more about what he does to prevent these types of things, like, later in the movie, things like yeah. that. And you, you figure out he's actually very well versed in it, and him and another colleague have talked about it. And basically, there's a new family that is involved, and then there's, like, a daddy issue plot Yeah, line. there's a... 
abusive father situation. It's a big cliche. You know, that's what I'm gonna say. What is Sinister 2? A big fucking cliche. Because the whole time I was like, hmm, hmm, yeah. I yeah, basically, it. think of the modern standard of horror. That's what this movie is. It's cheap jump, jump scares, terrible buildup. That is the worst part of this movie, is the buildup is way too long. Like, you're sitting there, not even on the edge of your seat. You're just, like, rocking back and forth in your theater seat, waiting for shit to happen. Because you've seen Sinister 1. You know that the the um, the um murder or the demon in this movie, I guess you can call him a demon or a deity or something. He's in the back seat. Yeah, the deity in the movie, <laughs> um, he has a certain kill pattern. So you know immediately who the two potential murderers are. There's two boys, that's why. There's two boys in the single mother. Of course. Single and, mother, abusive dad, daddy issues. Yeah. And there's... Another guy comes along. It's mm -hmm. that guy. It's such... It's a... Now, like, now the more I think about it, the more I'm kind of honestly angry about it. Because, like, was this movie worth seeing in the theater? Absolutely not. Exactly. <laughs> like, final verdict of, like, whether this movie was worth paying how do you, money wait, for. How do you want to do games? Yeah, we do video games a little more complex. I honestly don't... I don't even want to rate... Like, can I rate it a five? Is five our average, then? Because, like... It would be, yeah. I We're would... not inflating our scores, ladies and gentlemen. We're not IGN. <laughs> We're not IGN. Oh, shit. We're gonna get sued for that comment. Because they, they can do that to us. <laughs> I honestly am gonna give it a five, and I don't like being like super harsh on movies, but like when it comes, to, I love the horror genre. I mean, I'm more into like the psychological things of it, but like this movie, I thought it was like a horror movie, and I'm like, I'm gonna get fucking scared shitless, and I was kind of pumped because I was like, this is gonna be so great to review. Nothing happens. It's not a bad movie, which is why I would not giving it lower than a five. It's just an average movie. It's like exactly what you'd expect from the first one is in the second one. And it's just like paranormal activity. They're all the same fucking movie. There's just a million of them. And that's what I got from this one. Also, the one big thing that I wanted from this movie and I didn't get because they had to pull a cliche right at the end uh... was a definitive ending. It, at first, you feel like you've gotten a definitive ending because the chain of this, the way the murderer works, is broken. And we, and I, 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 would, I would say more, but it would spoil the shit. Yeah, we don't want to. Yeah, and we don't want to ruin the entire movie for you. But like, wait. <laughs> Our advice: wait till it comes out because it's not worth seeing. Like we saw in the theater because it was like coming out, and like we said, Player Two is heading out tomorrow morning. And it's like a last hurrah for the brother and sister duo. But like it wasn't, you know, it just wasn't, it wasn't that great. It was just kind of like a movie that like, you know, you, you, you want, at some point you're going to get it on Redbox and you're going to watch it and then you're just going to move on. I mean, yeah, if you like cheesy horror movies, definitely it's a rental at best. Um, my opinion on the movie, especially because I have a more unique perspective because I remember the first movie, yeah, was in the first movie... It would be about a six or a seven and the reason is that is because there is a mystery you don't know the um demon's kill pattern so you kind of discover that like in the movie and then at, near the end of the movie you figure out oh shit this guy's fucked and then you're like no and then it no. ends like that and then you know it's gonna can happen again because no. the chain isn't broken however in the second movie that mystery is gone the whole time you're it's like it's you like um, player one said is you're just waiting for it to happen because you know how the, the how he kills yeah. you know he goes through the kids you're basically just waiting yep. for it to happen there's no mystery anymore you're like very uninvested in the you know deity because he doesn't show anything new he's not like he can't really harm people or harm adults yeah. in the physical plane without the use of children so I'm trying to look up though I will say that one kid there's like that one kid he's like the lead asshole he's my favorite kid I think <laughs> I just really liked him I don't know I mean how, how do you think the acting was and I thought that do you kid think was, it was believable I mean I thought that kid was good I thought that one kid was good like that guy I don't really care for anyone else <laughs> like, well, I feel the, bad I'm so biased about that kid I think the abusive kid. father did a great job like I actually felt tense I, like at the dinner table scene. Yeah, there's a dinner table scene, and this is not gonna spoil anything for you. But you kind of like, you can like assume what's gonna happen. He gets angry, but like, I was like, shit. Like, I was like, no. In the story, there's a deputy, and then there's an abusive father. We're not gonna go too much into it, but at, at He's some really point, not that the abusive important, but he father is gets uh, his hands on his kids again, and there's and you you just feel the tension. Like you feel bad for the characters in the movie. When you're like, oh my god, this guy's a fucking asshole. So he he was actually very believable. Yeah, I just hate it. One of the, the one. 
<laughs> We're not Lucas sure. Lucas Zuman, he played the evil, creepy ass kid that you would never want to see in a hotel. The guy, the kid that was like dead. That guy, uh, he's my favorite. I don't. Oh, care you're talking about, about that guy. No, oh, God. No, he's my favorite. I told you I was being biased because I like like. Oh, fuck British man. looking kids? No, I just like them. <laughs> this okay, I really like. I'm biased because I like the like villain people. So like, okay, but let me. I need to get this out. I need to get this out. The main guy that's like leading these children looks fucking stupid. He looks so dumb. Okay, I just need to say that because he looks like Michael Jackson, and I love Michael Jackson, but he looks like Michael Jackson. He looks like like Michael Slender Jackson Man. had a baby with Slenderman. Yes. It's literally what he looks and like. And it makes me angry. Cause I'm, it makes me <laughs> angry. Because I'm like, you guys didn't even fucking try. You have a whole production, and you gave this guy a long black wig and put a suit on him. Like, It was a cop out. Like, they could have given him like, a creepy ass face. With, they like, like, gave him like, no mouth. But, like, that was the only thing that was creepy, is the fact that he had like, no mouth. But the whole ending was stupid. I was like expecting this to end decent, and then it didn't, and then I was like, this is... Basically, crazy. it's like in a horror movie... Okay, this isn't a spoiler. It's like in the horror movie that you watch where they defeat evil, and then they're all like going around like, yay! Could- it's the ending where they, they apparently defeat evil, and then there's a cheap jump scare that makes you think, did they? I don't get it. It didn't make any sense. I'm like, you guys did that to scare people, but there's like, okay, I'm gonna count them. I'm gonna count them right now. There's, shit, there's one straight in the beginning. I'm not gonna like ruin it and be like, tell you where they are, cause I can, you can guess. I guessed where like three of them were, okay? So there's like one in the beginning. There's another one when, like near the beginning with the other, like someone else. Um, shit, what else? There's one with the appliances. <laughs> there was like a, uh, another with the appliance. And then, I think there was one right at the end. I think there was like five. Are you counting jump scares? Yes. Because there was plenty of them. They, they... There was too many of them. Like, it was stupid. And it even does the cheap horror movie sound effect where the jump scare isn't scary enough, so they go... <laughs> yeah, I, I think hate that, that noise bullshit. scare. That is, that is a cop-out no scare. I'm sorry. That's not anyway, true horror. Anyway, what is your final rating for this? We've ranted My final verdict mm. for Sinister 2 is... I got a, I got, oh my gosh, I'm so close to being a four and a five. I kind of want to say- I'm going to give it a four. I'm going to, I'm actually, I was going to say, I might move my score down to a four because I would not rewatch this either. I wouldn't. Like, and I think that's a big part because like, one, it, I mean, one, it was like really average. And now the fact that I'm probably not going to rewatch this or talk about it ever again after this video kind of like makes me like go, oh, maybe it should be a lot So like the first movie is a six, I would say, because it's slightly above average. Like, it's not that, like, scary, but there's a mystery to it, and that's usually an element that keeps me engaged in a horror film. And this, this is basically sinister without the mystery. Yeah. And without, like, well, it, it had still, it still had the unique, like, torture smuff films that the kids made. <laughs> I actually, and I, had a I twist like that of an a ending. It had a twist of an ending. It wasn't as predictable as Sinister 1, or not, actually, Sinister 1 was less predictable. Basically, this is, this is not a, a movie you should watch. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> run. Like, because if you wanted closure from this movie, and that's what I wanted. I didn't think the movie and was going to And now they shock fucked me. it up. It was ended, and then they fucked it up right at the end. It was going like, to be a five until they fucking put a cliche right at the end. I swear to you. And that's why I was so pissed. I was other like, come news, on. We have no one who's really young at our house. Um, we're all, like, pretty much adults. We're not going to die. So we're back. We're going to say bye real quick from player one and player two, your favorite people that you have no idea that exist in your world. I'm going to college. Um, player two is leaving. This is the last video before you see him by himself and you see me by myself. And it's going to be really sad. And I hope you guys stick around. I'll try to post me. LPs. Please support me because I'm going to be sad. Be our ninth subscriber. <laughs> Thank you, eight subscribers, and I pretty much know all of you. I love you so much, and I can say that because I know most of you anyways. But- <laughs> <laughs> the most bullshit way to get <laughs> But, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for sitting through this. Uh, final rating for both of us was a four. Four out of ten. And four out of ten. And we may or, might, may or may not talk about spoilers and plot holes, and if we do, it'll probably be in a vlog with player two. Thanks. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Player one and player two out. Play us out, player two. Do you like a sad trumpet? Like a sad trumpet? Because this movie sucked. (laughs) 
<laughs> this is the saddest video. <laughs>